three. We're here doing the rigs and techniques. As we you are. see, Dave Whitten with us this week. He'll nope. be back next week, we hope. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I think we agree on is mm -hmm. there's always a question about circle hooks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I see this cup. I see the circle hooks. I know where this is going. I know this cup isn't for this Jose Cuervo yet. So Later. Later. Let's talk about circle hooks. So here's the big problem with circle hooks, Bree. Yeah. And, and, and here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Remember this. This is the most important thing I can teach you tonight is that whether you're fishing offshore or inshore, a grouper, a snapper, a trout, a redfish, they're always used to feeling something pinch them. A pinfish has a dorsal fin and pokes them. A shrimp has a horn. Uh, uh, you know, all the different variety of crab pinches them. So when they feel something pinch them in their mouth, by nat a natural reflex from by the fish is to bite down even harder. Here's the mistake we make. When we set the hook and they feel that leader smash them or tick them on the end of their lips, the first thing they want to do is go and blow it out. Mm -hmm. So oh, whether you're point. fishing a circle hook or a J hook, I'm gonna tell you, if you just reel naturally, and as the pressure starts to apply, you continue to reel through the pressure before the drag starts going off, you're gonna catch more fish. It doesn't matter what kind of hook, because there's not that explosion going off and in his mouth. definitely a learned practice, because you initially you want to, because you're excited, and that's, you know, sometimes you do that with other types of hooks, but for circle hooks, no, no. So remember this, guys, when you're getting ready to pick a circle hook, understand you gotta take into consideration how thick is the side of the fish's mouth. So this 9 Circle C Eagle Claw Laser Sharp is designed specifically for red snappers and groupers and whatnot on like a chicken rig or a dropper rig of some sort. If you're fishing uh, inshore, you may be fishing around the jetty or you're fishing croakers or whatnot, I, you know, a circle hook is a very conservation oriented hook. So keep in mind that we don't want to set the hook. So this is going to be our fish. This cup is representing the fish's mouth. So he's now has eaten our bait. What I want you to take home with you tonight is the slower you pull, the better your hookup ratio is going to be. You see how well that worked? All we gotta do is just continue to pull slow. If I pull hard, look what happens. It goes away. Yeah. A lot of the fellas ask me all the time, Bree, so do you tie it on with a loop knot or do you tie it on clinching straight to the hook? I did both on both sides. Here's one where it's not looped. And look, even though it's a circle hook. And you're watch, reeling slow. And I'm reeling slow, look what happens. It doesn't have the chance to turn. So again, we're gonna do again so Doug can get the picture, is I pull slow. You saw how it had to do a whole 180, yeah. but with a loop knot, it's a lot more effective. It doesn't matter how it lands in the cup, as you can see, I'm just gonna pull slow, and it always rotates because the loop allows it to rotate around the leader. So your hookup ratio, just with the way you tie your circle hook on, Becomes, increases instantly. Becomes even more effective. Oh, look at that. I'm always so impressed by this cup trick. Yeah, me too. I just can't stop watching it. I'm going to be more <laughs> impressed at the end when we have a margarita oh, in it. That sounds good. Jose, yes. call him your name. <laughs> All right. <laughs>